Hello and welcome to another episode of Fully Charged. Now, this is an episode we've been very excited to make. We've had to wait some time, but it's been worth it. We have. We've come all the way out to a place called Norfolk yeah. to see a Model S Tesla owned by a dog with a brand new bottom. Ooh. So regular viewers of Fully Charged will be very familiar with the Tesla Model S, but this one is just the Tesla Model SS. It's sort of a special S. Is it yes. absolutely extraordinary now I see it, Johnny? SB. Isn't it? SB. Shooting brake. Shooting brake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But well, I, I, when I first saw it, I immediately looked here, which is where you cut it the first time, and I, it's just so beautifully... This is one of the best, better parts, I would it's, say. It, I think that, I don't want to look at that side. This is better, yeah. where, where Johnny cut this. It's, <laughs> I have to say, More it's accurate. One, it is wonderful to see it all finished, because I've followed the the updates and the build and but to see it you've not seen it yet no this is you? the first time i've seen it yeah see it in the metal and composites it's quite a thing isn't it, it just it, it it so doesn't look like it's been converted it looks like that's how it was made it's extraordinary yeah. well thank you for that you've got thank that you. that lovely swoopy haunch still yeah. i think the roof line really suits it um this is bespoke glass is it it not? is yeah so nice big panoramic yeah. sunroof here fantastic it's just gorgeous wow. let's let's I want to look in. Oh, right. Look okay, in. here we'll, we'll reveal the, uh, it's not the reason. Often that, it's not often that we centre an entire feature about look at a that. boot. There's Ted. With a dog. <laughs> Tesla Ted, in case you want to follow Tesla Ted, he's at Tesla Ted on the Twitters. He's got a very interesting Twitter stream. He's got a fan base. He's got a big he? fan base. Yeah. So, yeah, if you've not watched the, the initial episode, which was where I came and did my first cut at Q West when this project was, was sort of um, in its infancy, and we saw the moulds. Mm -hmm. Yes, and we yes. saw uh, the plans. That I, I, I even got a 3D printed car. Yeah, about skulls. that big, which is wonderful. Wow. But now you can see it when it's now so it's open. Done. Yeah. This is where all the real engineering is, isn't it, Jim? Yep. Yep. That that original bit is all gone. Cut along this this horn. Yeah, along here. On there. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And then there's two body side mouldings, left and right. Yep. And a rear goal post of the main That's, structure. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. So that's three pieces really that were set up and because it's all come off the CAD, yeah. it all stacks together exactly as it was designed. And did it? That's did it all go yes. together as you thought it would? We had some checking templates, no. laser cut, yeah. and we put those on just to con qualify it, confirm it. Yeah. And they, they all fitted exactly. And you reuse the lower this, bit this lower part so from yeah. there from the lights down. And that's how oh, so that's mean. the original that's from the original car. car. Right. The lower wow. bit, yeah. Well, we didn't want to change any of the lighting. The lights, of course. Yeah. No, the lights, because some, are, yeah, because some estate cars or coach-built stuff, when they use different light clusters, it sort of throws just looks you a wrong, bit. Doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, visually, it just it just looks a bit awkward. Yeah, we wanted to minimise the amount of visible carbon, but just right. show enough when the power gets open. open. Up, yeah, we didn't really so want. So is that is that is this unit is that one unit or is that because I can't see oh, I can't see any joins. I mean, that's well, it's all bonded one. there with the roof. Right, but the actual shape of this is one it's one piece. One it's like yeah. a yeah. The, yeah, like a goalpost. And then, uh, well, I suppose the biggest question is, it's not about whether you like it or you like it. It's, it's, it was built for him in the first place. Oh. Yeah. Does he <laughs> like it? He does. He, li he likes it. Uh, as long as I don't go too quickly. And you clearly use it. Uh, yes. This is, I oh, mean, yes. this is still the well, only as, one of his kind. As you can see by the, uh, the, his hair stuck on the side There's of it. There's a lot of dog hair in here. Till yeah. uh, your arrival, I'd, it smelt like a dog transport vehicle did it oh uh, as it should yes yeah. as it should <laughs> what's the attention been like because when we put the video out of of making a cut and talking yeah. about the design of thing it, it it sparked a lot of people's attention yeah. yeah the the most interest is actually at the uh, supercharger right and that's what i thought when because you, yeah. you, you pull up and then you go off for your pee and a a, a, and a donut, and you come back to find half a dozen people all taking right. photographs of it. So yeah. that they're obviously Tesla fans. They are Tesla owners. The Teslarati. And they, yes. the Tesla, and they, they've immediately identified. Yes. Hang on, this is. A, how how, is how come this car? How come this estate car is using a supercharger? It yes. shouldn't be. It shouldn't be able to. Yeah, yeah. That's right. But but a lot of them have actually seen your program. 
Right. Right. Because oh, so it, they knew about it from they, that. They, right. they, and, and they think of it as, well, this is really special because yeah, it's the yeah. only one there is. Yeah. We want to be photographed next to it. <laughs> well, it is special. Yes. So, you know, it, yeah. it's, a, it's a proper piece of coach building. I yes. think that's... It is. Which, which clearly has of, practical in, features. In terms of actually driving it now, now you've driven it a bit, how different does it feel? You know, I mean, I it presume it seems not. a little quieter. It? But right. that might be subjective. But, but, but it, noise is all about volume. Uh, yeah. uh, and I think that, that that's had some sort of effect on the uh, on, on the amount of noise right. it, right. it, it, it The makes. dog will so, act as insulation as yeah. well. Of course, yeah. it absorbs sound yeah. of a certain frequency, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. And yeah. then the rear yeah. visibility, is that any different? You know, like the, through the mirror? Right. That, no, that, it's, it's just about the same. Right. That's yeah. brilliant. Because, the, as you can see, the rear window is really quite wide. Yeah. It's as yeah. wide as the original. And it's much... Because you've, got, what you've, got, this, you've yeah. got this huge bit yeah, of glass on the wiper. back of the, of, yes. the, of the traditional one, but yeah. it's at a very steep angle, so you're only, yes. you're only seeing that much. Yeah, and, and no wiper. That is. And no wiper. You've got a wiper. Oh, oh. and a wash. Oh, oh I've no, seen there's, there's, a button, there's a special button in there. When yes. we drive it, button. I'll show it to you. I'm very much looking for it. Yeah, there's a wash button, and there's intermittent, and all sorts of... Oh, you can do... Oh, it's a three-position switch. And the weight of this tailgate presumably is less than what the... Uh, yeah, the quite a lot. We saved 12 kilograms overall. Oh, what, you the saved? Vehicle. Yeah. Yes. The vehicle is 12 kilograms lighter. lighter. Wow. 12 yes. lighter than, the, lighter. than, than the your no, yeah, regular car. Yeah, yeah, isn't that amazing? Because wow. you do, think it, it sort of looks bigger, so yeah, you think it'd be heavier. It'd be heavier. It's, it's, it's wow. the use of carbon. Yeah. So hang on. So it's, it's lighter. It's got a bigger boot. It's quieter. Uh, it, it's potentially quieter. Are you going to tell me it's more aerodynamically efficient? I would think it is, especially with the cube on coating as well. And with your background in aerodynamics, I would say <laughs> that's, that's valid. I would say it probably, you're being conservative, it probably is yeah. more aerodynamic. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you have a sit-in, Johnny, because you're very tall. Can I? Yeah, I'm going to get in, yeah. <laughs> so what's that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, you is, can really see. Yeah. That is significant. Well, you can see, in a way, the roof line... Yeah. On the inside of the where the sunroof is, that you, yeah. that's the original roof line, so you can actually see it's that much yeah. higher. Yeah, but it feels nice and airy because yeah. you've got, you got the double glass roof with the Q West Pilkington badge on it. It's all <laughs> nice and official. No bits of cut plastic just <laughs> bonded in. And these little these side windows as well. Yeah, got these little almost like yes. little privacy windows. I like this. Mm. Wow. I do love her. <laughs> it's got some, it's, I would call it high-end quirky shizzle. Oh, it's, it's high-caliber <laughs> quirky shizzle. I have to, I've got to have a go. Have a seat, it's great. <laughs> oh my God, it is really different. Wow. There you go. Yeah. This is Bobby Llewellyn's heavily soiled daily driver. It's his Model S 85. Thanks for cleaning it, Bobby. We brought it here because you can see directly the difference between a normal, regular flavor Model S and this, the QS shooting brake. So it's Tesla Model S up to about there. And then from there to here, it's now an estate car. How beautiful is it? Carbon fiber, and it doesn't have the T badge on the back, you see? So it's the standard rear light clusters and this sort of uh, chrome waistband here, but no T, no Tesla T. It does say Tesla there, but no T. I think it looks a lot better. What do you think? There we go. Oh, there's Ted. Hello, Ted. Woohoo! We're going for a drive in your car. You're very kind to let us go. <laughs> well, normally I, I, we road test a car with just humans, yeah. but we've got a dog. This is the first time, yeah, it's the first time we've ever done a dog in it. Yeah, absolutely. But this is what the car was, was, was sort of made for. So Ted needs to be part of the action. I'm basically, uh, I'm, I'm a very wealthy Uber, <laughs> aren't I? Who's just yeah. decided, I've yeah. commissioned a very specific car. Specific car, and then just decided, for Ubering. Yeah. Taxi for Llewellyn, please. I was expecting a, you know, a, a Toyota, well, a Prius. Panel damage Prius. Panel damage Prius. Yeah, I was thinking the same, yeah. yeah. And I'd be listening to some music that you really didn't want to hear. <laughs> but this is really remarkable. So I had to do a double test just to make sure. Did you? When I sit in the back of mine, my head is touching the roof. So it's scraping? Yeah. 
So you, and so you kind of slump in it. You do, you do that. Yeah. You're, you're right. I've been in the back when, when, when my But it's wife's not ideal it. when you're um, not when you're on a three-hour trip. No, is it? But this is amazing. I can sit up really straight. I've still got a nice gap at the top. Yeah, we're just coming out of the uh, Green yeah, Britain really. Centre, which is amazing. If you get the chance, do go. It is extraordinary. Isn't it, it is it's great. Amazing. Yeah. Now, what's interesting <laughs> about this road test is unusually, um, I'm actually driving this car and you're experiencing it to see if it's the same yeah apart from the fact that this is a, a p90d and yours is an 85 yes so yours is rear wheel drive this one's four wheel, wheel drive so they're saying you've got three inches more headroom than yeah. the saloon which is a lot in yeah, three that's a lot i'd be happy with one inch more really yeah. and then you've got obviously a seven and a half cubic feet more boot space right yeah i mean you can get a lot of stuff in there with it if ted if yeah. ted wasn't there you could also, you could put the optional um, rear-facing seat back in it. Yes, and you'd have more room for that, yeah. Yeah, which is super cool, because yeah. I love those. I mean, maybe they're not the safest devices, but... I don't know, yeah, I think, yes. I'd be slightly worried with two small children there, you know. Just putting them rear-facing. Yeah, well, I'm sure, I'm but sure. But the dog's loving it. Dog's yeah, got loads right. of headspace. And for me, well, do you know what? I haven't driven a Model S for a little while. Right. So it's just quite nice to be back yeah. in one with its massive touch screen and its uh, shizzle going on. But I'm just, I'm now intrigued about the rear, the rear view from, I'll, I'll sit in the driver's seat gonna, a bit. It, it's, it's, it's really, it's really good. It doesn't, it doesn't seem any... No, they, no. Because this, look, from where I am, looks a bit low, but of course that is not changed. That is where it would have been, that, that would have been there anyway. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's dead. What a good boy. No, it's actually really good. Of course you've got, boy. the only thing that's different in the front of the camera at all are these two little switches to my, Yes. Uh, to my right, where my right knee is. And, that, and that's for the rear wiper. Rear wiper and, yeah, and, and, and wash wipe. I think you've got... Um, I think you've got oh, there it goes. That's constantly on. Yeah. And if I turn it to the left, is it? I think you've got two stages of intermittent, I think. And having a rear wiper on a Tesla is... No, there you go, that's intermittent. <laughs> no, and what I need to remind people is, is this car has actually been back to a Tesla dealership since. And as Tesla said they would, They've upheld the original warranty of the car. Right. I think that is so admirable wow. for a car company. Wow, so they haven't said, no, you've blown it, mate. You've no, blown, and, right. and just almost every other car manufacturer I could possibly think of would go, you've cut the car up. Right. I'm so out. You're, you're right. oh, okay. I'm out. But in this, they've gone, as long as you don't touch the high voltage cabling, right. you're okay. Wow. It, I'll tell you what it does. It does sound different, and I can't tell whether it's quieter or it just sounds a bit different. So that's got to be wind going over the car. It's got a, because yeah. you know, I really know that sound well in mine. Well, Jim, Jim's convinced that it's more aero it's efficient. More aero and Jim efficient. has a background in building Le Mans cars. Right. So I would say him and aero, you know, there's no BS there. Yeah. And for me also, it's just reminding me of what a fine car a Tesla is. Yeah. How many years ago did the Model S come out? Three? No, I'm never absolutely certain of the Four? Yeah. F uh, no, maybe five. Uh, I've had mine two and a half years, and it, well, they were definitely not new then. Yeah, so it could be four or five years. Yeah. What a, to bring a car out that gets this many column inches? Yes, it's ex oh, the, if you and think wins over it, so many hearts. The press coverage for it is staggering, isn't it? Though, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, you can't deny that. No. A company with no heritage in car production, no heritage at all. No. And I mean, the other thing that I've, that's really noticeable now after having it that time is the updates. It's constantly updating. When that happens, probably at least once a month it, when I get home it'll say update available do you want to so it's it like your phone it? overnight it's yeah just the and same it just as updates phone. and it, some of the changes I don't even you can't see I can't see there's some subtle changes but it's generally yeah. to do with autopilot with settings on the screen with the sat nav yeah you know. how many miles have you done in your Tesla 48 and a half. Okay, so in that time, you've done nearly fifty thousand. Yeah, it's miles. just coming to fifty thousand miles. Yeah. Have you had any any issues with it? Uh, Apart from you crashing it yeah, a little bit yes, into bollards or something. Tiny little bollard dentette, <laughs> which is, and a little scratchington. No, I'm just trying to think of if and ah, windscreen washers, got the squirters got blocked, but that was is now I know how to rectify that. That could be down to climate where you it, live. And also what just clogged it got clogged up and they put hot water in the tank and pumped it through and then now they're now they're phenomenal. Oh really? Uh, that, and that is it? That's I'm trying to think if anything else has happened. No, that's it. Wow, okay. So that's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, and it's because everybody always talks about Elon. Yeah. And obviously he's this extraordinary figurehead, but actually when I when you meet the other people that worked on 
yeah. te the early Teslas, they're amazing engineers from all over the world, and they yeah. don't, they get very little credit for it. But they actually built the damn thing. Of course, they, and that's the thing. It's not just building it; it's longevity. Yeah, yeah. The great thing about this conversion is that you don't have to use a brand new car, and you can choose what flavour model S that's you want true. to use. Yeah, you, you can get an old one. And have you it can get you can get a really leggy old one. This is, what's this? Two? Is this? Two or three this is 2015 old. this 2015 car. oh That's three the, years old right yeah yeah so they haven't gone for a box fresh one they've gone for a 90d right so that, and that's why we're not here to test the performance because no. we we know about that yeah we know about that already and ted doesn't want to make a job ted you should be able to get out now mate. should we uh should we take him for a walk let's take him for a walk uh, he's so well behaved he's done it's really ridiculous. well and he's getting a bit whiny now he's been in there a long time poor fella oh oh there we oh, go there you are, on, walk is very oh. nice So Dorian, I mean, this is the first time I saw it today, finished, and it is really, really impressive. And now having been in it, it's really nice. The back seat's so much better. More headroom. Yeah. More headroom. There's, really about, is. there's three inches headroom yeah. in the back extra, which helps. Which is a lot. Yeah, it is a lot. Yeah. yeah. A you lot. do notice it. You yeah. totally notice it. So yeah. if, if someone got a Tesla, then you could do this to their car. You could do this. You could recreate this now. Yes, we could. If, if someone came to us right now and said, I'd like to have one. Uh, we could set to and provide them with a conversion uh, project plan. It takes about 10 weeks or so to do a conversion. Right. Um, and it would, it depends on what they choose, of course, because yeah. there's so many options you can pick from. But to do a basic body in white, as we would call it, it will take about 10 weeks. And did this car have a full repaint or did it have a, a half repaint? It had a partial repaint to match and there was choices there as well. We were thinking about going two-tone paint yeah. um, and we chose not to because once they painted the base coat blue on, we thought, well, we'll go with the base coat blue. It looks all right. It looks right. good. It does. It's a great colour. Yeah. It and it, it, colour. the contrast with the black in this instance is dechromed, but there's no, nothing to say you couldn't keep the chrome or go for a Baptist satin finish with the chrome on it. Yeah. Um, wood side, wood panelling. Wood <laughs> Station <laughs> wagon spec. Yeah, we, we have actually mocked up the CAD for that. Have you, have you really? Yeah, for a so vinyl wrap. Wood, wood frame yeah. around the back. My God, I, I totally need yeah, that. No, no. <laughs> that would be brilliant. With a, with a, with a surfboard. A Tesla Woody. A Woody, a yeah. Tesla Woody. A Tesla Woody. It's, obviously, it would be someone with a, an interesting taste in cars that yeah. would order that. But yeah. it's, everything's doable right. nowadays. You know? Whoever's watching this, yeah. one of you needs to order a Woody version of this. It could happen. But then 10 weeks, is, that, is it because you've got to order? I mean, this, you know, I remember this was one of the problems of getting the glass for it, is it? it the glass has got probably the longest lead time. It's about six to eight weeks. Yeah, yeah but that shouldn't be a problem with more people ordering yes. cars. So part of the build process and scheduling is to do the cut, the assembly, wait for the bond to happen and the glue right. to set, yeah. and then fit the glass right. after painting it. We're a coach builder, not a customizer. Yes, yeah. So what we're doing here is something that's as good as the OEM yeah. without sort of slipping into the whole kind of fill it with filler and yeah. fiberglass bits and... And it's still got a warranty. It's still got its Tesla warranty, which I you think is remarkable. You took it to the dealership yeah. and with that, they must have been crawling all over it. They were. We had, I think we had about 20 engineers all over this right. thing, turning it into a training day yeah. where they uh, they worked on how, how we'd have put the trim in, how the systems were, where the wiring harnesses went for the bits like the rear wash wipe yeah. and understanding how it was assembled because they envisage probably seeing more of these. We yeah. hope we hope they see more of them of course. Yeah. Well actually yeah let's come on to that. Here and now because I remember making the first cut with you and seeing all the designs and the molds and it was really exciting to, to seeing it now as a finished thing. If I wanted to order one of these today yeah or a viewer, how much would one of these cost? We have a base price. You can do a from, yeah, do a from. From, from, from. yeah, about 60 to 70,000 pounds. Okay. We'll get you a, a body in white with some base level trim as you see right. it, okay? Okay. Um, we're hoping with volume we can get that price down because right. yeah. obviously there's a knock-on effect to the glass and uh, the carbon fiber we use. Yeah. And you know, if- You want to batch make them ideally. In an ideal world, we'd like to, but of course, clients being clients and the exclusive and bespoke nature of this type of yeah, stuff. Yeah, they're not going to go for that. They kind of then go, well, ooh, I'd like burr walnut this or yeah. teak veneer that or whatever. And yeah. so you end up extending that. Well, the only thing I can say is I think you've done a fantastic job. I think it's beautiful. I really am knocked out by it. It's just, it just works. Yeah. I just want Elon to see it's it and, and feel, feel slightly insecure and jealous. I hope he has seen it. I mean, I, I think because of all the Twitter and all the rest yeah, of it, I'm sure, of I'm sure he has seen it on there. He's probably not bothered by no, it. He's got things to send into he's, space. Yeah, he has. Have you had some really serious inquiries? Yes, we have, yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. Oh, great. From 
all over the world or? They are, uh, America and uh, in Europe principally. We ought to just have a quick look at Ted before we go. Oh, he's very sad. I keep forgetting, he's such a good dog. I know, I know, he's such a good dog. Look at that, hey. good boy. Because this is all about you. It really is all about you. But you can order one if you want one, whether you're obsessed with dogs or not. Yeah, you don't have to put a dog in the back. No, <laughs> no. Uh, well, that's all we've got time for. Thank you very much, Ted, for letting us have a go in your car. He's been a really good dog today. And we've had a brilliant time seeing this. It is amazing, an amazing achievement. We promised that we'd show you the finished thing, and finally we did. Okay, it took a bit longer than we thought. Yeah, apologies for the time it's taken, but we wanted to do it properly. Yeah. So, here it is. So, there we go. That's all we've got time for. Please do subscribe to Fully Charged. Uh, have a quick look at the little Patreon link uh, if you want to have a look at that. And, uh, as always, Johnny, if you have been, Thanks for watching.